We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in a statement released yesterday, Cardinal Advincula, our Archbishop, is calling us to pray for our political leaders. If you have been watching the news or reading the newspapers, you know what is happening. And so in this Mass, let us pray for them because their agreement will be more beneficial to the country if the agreement is toward something good. To make ourselves less unworthy of this Eucharistic celebration, let us humbly ask God's pardon and mercy. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord that is striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great authority, and the earth became illumined by his splendor. He cried out in a mighty voice, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. She has become a hunt for demons. She is a case for every unclean spirit, a case for every unclean bird, a case for every unclean and disgusting beast. A mighty angel picked up a stone like a huge millstone and threw it into the sea and said, With such force will Babylon, the great city, be thrown down and will never be found again. No melodies of harpists and musicians, flutists and trumpeters will ever be heard in you again. No craftsmen in any trade will ever be found in you again. No sound of millstone will ever be, be heard in you again. No light from a lamp will ever be seen in you again. No voices of bride and groom will ever be heard in you again, because your merchants were the great ones of the world. All nations were led astray by your magic potion. After this, I heard what sounded like 
the loud voice of a great multitude in heaven, saying, Alleluia, salvation, glory, and might belong to our God, for true and just are his judgments. He has condemned the great harlot who corrupted the earth with her harlotry. He has avenged on her the blood of his servants. They said a second time, Alleluia, smoke will rise from her forever and ever. Then the angel said to me, Write this, Blessed are those who have been called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Know that the Lord is God. He made us, his we are, his people, the flock he tends. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. For he is good, the Lord whose kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, know that its desolation is at hand. Then those in Judea must flee to the mountains. Let those within the city escape from it, and let those in the countryside not enter the city. For these days are the time of punishment when all the scriptures are fulfilled. Woe to pregnant women and nursing mothers in those days, for a terrible calamity will come upon the earth and a wrathful judgment upon these people. They will fall by the edge of the sword and be taken as captives to all the Gentiles, and Jerusalem will be trampled underfoot by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on earth nations will be in dismay perplexed by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. But when these signs begin to happen, Stand erect and raise your heads because your redemption is at hand. 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, one of our daily experiences is to wait. A few minutes ago, you waited for the Mass to begin. Coming here to the Manila Cathedral, you probably waited for your grab. You waited for the public transport, or you waited for your driver to bring you here. That is part of our life, waiting. And the feeling that, that is attached to waiting, that comes with waiting, can vary depending on what you are waiting for or who you are waiting for. Waiting may be exciting because you will be waiting for your, or you are waiting for your 13th month pay. Napit na, no? Naibigay na ba? Hindi pa. You are waiting for that. You are waiting for the delivery ng grab food and you are excited. Or waiting can be anxious, anxious waiting. Like, for example, you are waiting for the result of your board exam. Did I pass or I have to take it again? Waiting can be also anxious when you are waiting for the result of your medical tests. Am I okay? Is the result good? Is my sugar, blood sugar okay? How is my cholesterol? So waiting for the results can bring about anxiety. And you can also be waiting with fear. Naghihintay ka ng may takot. Like for example, matatapos na ba yung gulo nila? O lalaki pa? Waiting is part of our daily existence. But waiting is determined by what we are waiting for or who we are waiting for. In the Gospel, Jesus was portraying a, a not-so-pretty scenario. Hindi masyadong maganda yung kanyang mga sinasabi. There will be desolation. Those who are in Judea must flee to the mountains. Those in the city must escape from it. Those who are in the countryside should not go to the city. And woe to the pregnant women and nursing mothers. Not a pretty sight. Because Jesus was predicting the end of Jerusalem. But towards the end of this same gospel, Jesus was saying, when this time comes, stand erect and raise your heads because your redemption is at hand. We are waiting for the coming, not only of destruction, but of redemption after the destruction. Kaya yung sinasabi ko, yung hinihintay natin anuman o sinuman ang magsasabi kung ang ating nararamdaman ay takot o kaligayahan. Kung alam mo yung asawa mo na tatlong taon na nagtrabaho sa ibang bansa ay uuwi, excited ka. Kaya sino ba yung darating? Sino ba yung hinihintay natin? At dito sa si Ebanghelyo, ang sinasabi sa atin, ang parating ay si Jesus. Ang darating ay ang anak ng tao. And therefore, there is no reason for us to be fearful of all these things that will happen because after these things have happened, Jesus is coming. Now, 
kung sa buong buhay mo, ina-anticipate mo yung pagbalik ni Jesus, wala kang dapat ikatakot dumating man sa mamya o sa isang linggo o sa isang taon. Pero kung ang buong buhay mo ay parang walang Diyos, wala kang pakialam, dapat kang matakot kapag darating na si Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, who are we waiting for? Are we waiting for our Savior, Jesus? If, the, if we are waiting for Jesus, then we have nothing to fear. We have no reason to be anxious because Jesus is coming to bring us to heaven. Let us wait for Him with joy. Let us wait for Him with anxiety, with, with excitement. Because when He comes, it will be the end of life, but it will also be the beginning of life everlasting. Amen. Please stand. As we are gathered to celebrate the mystery of our salvation, let us turn to God the Father with confidence and implore His mercy as we wait. To every petition, a response, Faithful Lord, bless us. Faithful Lord, bless us. That the people of God may be drawn to prayer and penance as they hope for the coming of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Faithful, Faithful Lord, Lord, bless, bless us. us. That those who govern human society may see the hands of God moving in the events of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Faithful Lord, Faithful Lord bless, bless us. us. That we, we may look to the future with hope and confidence. Let us pray to the Lord. Faithful, Faithful Lord, Lord, bless us. us. That the sick may live in security and hope through the prayers and support of their family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Faithful Lord, bless us. That the Son of Man may grant salvation to those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Faithful Lord, bless us. In silence, let us pray for our own particular needs. Let us also pray for the needs of our nation. And let us pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your people and help us to embrace the daily challenge of the cross. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name. And in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, grant us unfailing obedience to your commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him. Through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her blessed spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, 
Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family with one common Father in heaven, we pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Yeah. 
Please stand. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a few announcements. One, uh, there is a campaign to share a toy. So if you have toys in your house that are no longer played with by your children or grandchildren, you may drop them at the uh, entrance where there are boxes for uh, stop toys and other kinds of toys for children. And that will be, those will be given to the children of Baseco. Secondly, there is a concert tomorrow of the Philippine Suzuki Youth Orchestra. Uh, entitled Gaudete, Windows to Christmas. So it's a pre-Christmas concert, uh, meaning pre-meaning pre before, okay? It is not free. So there are tickets for sale. If you are interested, you may inquire at the cathedral office. And uh, this Sunday will be the first Sunday of Advent. And uh, that will also be the Sunday during which the Intramuros Grand Marian procession will be held. So the schedule of Masses on Sunday, this coming Sunday, will be 8 in the morning, 10 in the morning, and 2 in the afternoon. There is no 6 p.m. Mass in the evening because of the procession. And uh, on Saturday, November 30, we will begin also our Novena Masses in preparation for the celebration of the Solemnity of uh, the Immaculate Conception on December 9. Now, the Holy Day of Obligation also falls on Sunday, December 8 and 9, December 9. So we, you have the obligation to go to Mass on, Sund on Sunday, December 8 and on December 9. The rest of the details of the celebration may be, we will be posted uh, either on the, in the monitor or on our Facebook page, Manila Cathedral, or in, during the announcement during Mass. Thank you very much, Paul. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharist, Eucharistic celebration is over. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. No, no.